Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on this procedurally generated community Minecraft server. I'm over here at my ship getting ready for the next step of the build, but I figured I'd go ahead and let you see what we've got going on down below. Maybe you can see it, but you can't. As you can see, I did, in fact, put in that moon pool. And I've begun some initial framing to see how I might fit a submarine down below. So, I like the way it looks from up here. Let me show you what it looks like from down below, but before I do that, I'm probably going to need a couple of these. Let me get a night potion, and let me get a water drinking. And... Put those down. Alright, and away we go. So, I've got the moon pool built. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I like how it is going on there. These little dirt bits are... C concepts that I had of how I was going to get villagers through this system up and kind of around and then dropped in. And then down below is where we're going to have the miscellaneous bits and pieces that make up and comprise a submarine. So this is dirt scaffolding to kind of give me an idea of the rounding I want to go for. Right? And I might actually put that up one more. I don't know. Maybe not. I might just give it a big neck. And then the rounding aspect. And this kind of just leads how far out I want it to go. But I don't know if I do want it to go that far out, actually. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, this this bit down here might be a little bit more rounded as well. So we'll see, we'll see what happens here. But as you can see, it kind of tucks into the gravel a little bit here. So the submarine itself couldn't go out that far. So it would have to be like... Hmm. Like this is the hatchway in, and then this is the nose of the sub. I'll put a couple windows there. And then uh, back here, maybe make that the propeller-looking thing. And just make it a, a, a tube of sorts. But in order to do that, I think the best way to do this is probably to knock out a shape all in dirt. Right? Like, so this bit right here is the drop shaft. That will be something that goes into the ship itself. These bits out here will probably be iron. <laughs> so I should probably stop filling them in. And then this could probably be quartz, so it'll still kind of have a, a white or silvery look. And then these bits out here will be iron also. But filling in the interior with dirt will make it so that when uh, it's actually built out, I won't have to dig out quite so much. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens. But let me go ahead and get some stuff going here and come back to it and show you how far I might have progressed. All right, friends, I've put together the very top hatch of the uh, submarine. That's going to pay no mind to the fact that I was one <laughs> iron block short. Uh, but uh, it's dawned on me it's going to require a lot more iron than what I'm generating right now. So this might have to be a longer-term project. But I kind of like what's going on with it. What we'll have is this system come up and over and then dump into here. This uh, will be gone, or maybe I can keep it there. I think I can keep it there. We'll dump uh, the minecarts into this system, and then they'll come in down here. Uh, this is just kind of a dirt bubble for now. But this will be the actual ceiling bit, so I'll knock this out and one more down, and that will be the area where I can kind of walk around in a 2x2. Two two. But we'll kind of round it out a little bit more so there's enough space in here for a portal, and then I'll be able to move people around. But like I said, this is kind of going to be a long-term project. But for now, you can kind of see what's going on with it as far as like putting a submarine in there and then once it's actually built out you'll see the body of it in there better and I'll probably put lights along the edge here right so that you can see it underwater too but I think uh, for now what I'm gonna do is continue drawing out the villager trading area and putting water in until I can figure out where a good spot to stop will be and then creating the ejection system so let me go ahead and go get some more wood and some more gold for some more powered rails and build this side out. And we'll go from there. Well, my friends, as you can see, my iron supply is growing quite low as I have been using it to construct either parts of that submarine or parts of the rail system for the villager trading system, which is darn near complete. I need to come back in and put in some glass and uh, make sure the enclosure's there and make sure I've got the water streams going where they need to go. But as you can see, I've got all of the trading chambers completely built out now, and all the redstone's in place, and all of the signs are in place. I just need to make sure that all of the glass is on both sides, and that uh, everything will flow properly. I don't even have the glass on the inside middle done yet, but uh, fortunately for me, I have a whole bunch of sand. So what I'll need to do is close this in and close that in, and then we can start getting water going. 
And once we've got the water going, we can kind of see what it's going to look like. And hopefully, this water stream will end right here. And then they'll just kind of fall into that. And the powered rail will take it up here. And then they'll dump into that. Up here... Oh, my. I uh, put the sign on one block early. So that on this next block out here... Let me see if I can get a good dirt sample here. So on this block... Eh, here there will be a water stream that flows towards that way. Is that the one? Or the water stream will be there, and it'll kind of flow around the corner and drop into that zone also. So it'll be just like a little three-cube water turn. But that's what you need. You can't, like, let the the water stop, the stop spot, be someplace where there is no water. Because if you put a no water uh, block on a corner, they'll get stuck. They'll just get kept pushed into there, and they won't like water stream to the next spot. So you got to make sure water stream to go around the corner. All right, so that's what I've got to do. I'm going to go get some sand, bring this in, close in that backside. Uh, apparently, no, I've got everything there. This one extra block is just to have that one extra block where the water is going to be flowing. And I'm going to enclose this in glass also so that you can kind of see what the side of it looks like. And, uh, and then we'll go work on the front end of it. So let me go ahead and get this glass and water in, and we'll be right back leave this is ready for water I'm just going to check each segment still individually to make sure I didn't make any mistakes because if I did I sure would like to find out segmentally you know if I can just fix one part of this that was a mistake upon which I made then all of it that would be awesome for example what's up with that repeater I might have to do that all right but is all the glass in place it looks like it is so yeah so far so good so yeah this side is looking pretty good. Let me get this repeater real fast. Oh, I can't get back up there from there. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, but I can do this. Oh, man. Everything looks right. Yep, so far so good. Everything looks right. So far so good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And the last one. And... Yeah, looks like it's working. Awesome. Awesome. Let me go ahead and grab this bucket and show you what I was talking about with uh, getting around the corners. So I have this stopping here. This is all going to be glass so that people will be able to see all of it. And this sign is to prevent people from actually falling down. So it'll just kind of go around the corner and then drop down onto that track and then brrrp, into the submarine, which will eventually have another portal in it. So that's going to be the exit system. All right, now to do the water down below, the water on the other side just like this, and the water down below on the other side just like this will be. And then to the front, the fore of the ship. Well, my friends, as you can see, we have completed the water streams on both sides and below as well. So it looks good, trust me, down there it's also water streaming just like that over there. Right here is a couple ideas I'm having with how I'm going to do the flooring here. It might look like too much oak right there, but since each level is only going to be visible from certain spots, then it'll probably work out. I've also taken the liberty of getting this area ready for the load in, right? Oops, let me get out of this. Oh no! Okay, so <laughs> over here what I've done is set up the water stream so that the villagers will come out this way and drop down into there. And then once they drop into there, a minecart will come along, excuse me very much, and deposit them in there. Let me see, do I have one? I do. Boom. So, uh, I forgot a very critical step. Hoverboards need power. Was it this one? Boom. So it'll go through and pick those guys up and go on its merry way. Now I've got to get back up there <laughs> and put uh, put the rest of the railing in. And then I've also got to... Where is it at? Here it is. Let's see. Can I make this jump? This jump's probably easier. Look at me parkouring like a boss. Oh, no. <laughs> I dropped the ball. Oh, boy. I can't climb up ladders. I can't climb up ladders, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. This time for sure. Round two, parkour challenge. Uh, yeah, okay. So let me get this minecart out of the way. So what we've got going on here, if we use rails, and we do rails all the way up, but we're going to want powered rails here to kind of go up the hill. One, two, three should get us there, and then this guy should convert it. Yep. And turn and go that way. But JC, I hear you asking. 
how are you going to get them go the other way when you want to go this way? Well, that's a good question, hypothetical person. <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is put my lever down on this block, and whenever you switch it, it'll switch the track. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll keep it over there for now. Go this way, and finish up the railing system into here. This should be enough speed for them to get in the system and drop in, but perhaps not. But we'll do some tests and we'll find out. So let me go get some villagers breeding up, and we'll see if we can get one or two to go in there. Also... Down at the very far end, it, it dawned on me, it occurred to me, two thoughts at the same time, that uh, my rail system won't be able to just stop and drop down a hole because they kind of slide a little bit. So what I'll end up doing, for example, is bringing this block one so it'll have to slide down and into the th thing. You'll see when we get to it, but I don't think we're going to get to it for a while. Let me go ahead and put power underneath these other two rail sets so that these guys are good to go as well. I think that should power those. Yep. And which block did I put that on there? And that should power those. Is that the block I put it on? Yep. Okay. So it's looking pretty good now. And then this block down here, that's just the power to get these rails all going. So let me get the villagers spread up, and then we'll see what it looks like. Welcome back, friends. And as you can see, we've got a couple villagers in there. It looks like maybe four or five. And we're all ready to test this bad boy out. Now, I've decided that instead of going to this one, because it's already full through six, seven, eight, and uh, I didn't want to wait for them to get pushed through the water stream. We know it'll work, but we don't. <laughs> I'm impatient for it right now. So I'm going to convert the track, make sure the track's set for this one, and send them down this way. Now, as you can see, I've laid out where this floor would extend out to if it was there just to kind of give myself some ideas of what I'm going to do down below here down below deck I'm going to finish this out for sure uh, but th then where I would be standing for the next level and that level is one block too low because I forgot to take into account the fact that they're going to be up one block when they load in all right but here we go let's see if things work here drum roll please I said drum roll please Whoop. And it worked. Yes, it worked. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and... Do we have anybody else in there? Yes, we do. Do I have any more carts? Yes, I do. It is working. That's a nitwit. We don't want nitwits, but that's okay. And there goes a brown coat. Awesome. Let's go see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, cool. It is working. This guy was a shepherd. Cool. There's our nitwit. Hello, nitwit. He doesn't have trades. This guy, was he already here? leather worker awesome and then a weaponsmith so we've got some cool things already going and now we've got it all working and look another little baby villager was just made so it's time for me to breed up a bunch of villagers and get the machine going it's gonna be awesome i can't wait and my friends if you can't wait and you want to see something like that then by all means please do consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like that i'm just going to spend a little bit of time cleaning things up around here maybe going down and doing the flooring like i said but but for the next issue for the next episode we're going to work on something on the next deck up i think the, this will be done for this and now i got to start thinking about how i'm going to get like potatoes and carrots and things like that for the farmer villagers that are eventually going to come. That's going to be fun. And i got to still think about the spacing for the cannons up along the side walls. ooh -wee. There's a lot of stuff to do. If you want to see that, please do consider subscribing. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. I sure do hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.